I am someone who is changing, yet not changing. I'm someone who is happy, yet not happy. I'm someone who loves. I'm someone who gets angry. I'm just another human being. Unless I realize uh, who I am and understand it in all its details, how can I offer myself to someone or to the world or to my profession? I think if you are convinced that your life matters and that you matter in your life, um, you will also feel the energies to decide what is good for you and what is good for walking on this pathway through life. This feeling that I had, this ability to see and know, and, and the fact that I'm growing into trusting it now and really trusting it and really believing in it, saw me through a phase where I'm not sure that I could have got through if I hadn't seen or believed in the way I had. I had so little balance in my life. I was so focused on building the organization and what its impact must be outside that I forgot to think about me. For well-being, my work was driven by frustration. Everything that had ever happened to me was my energy. All the bad things, all the upsets, that would be my, you know, my fuel. Package it up, repress it deep down in the stomach and then let that drive me because I can use the pain to do good. And now, my work comes from a place of love, which is a far greater energy. It's a, it's expansive, it's everywhere. You can choose to see it or choose not to, and I see it. It is very important that you don't make just work as something which takes central stage. You must look at it from the perspective of feeling yourself first, being aware of your being first. And it's very important that you take your own time and pace to understand it, not in a hurry, but with a sense of repose. Once the person is comfortable with all as she is or he is, then the space becomes bigger and the effect of that impact gets bigger. The well-being program has helped me to be more helpful to other people because I am more honest with myself and not frightened of telling people about the mistakes I've made. You draw strength from everything that's got you to this point. Um, and it's, it's completely liberating. Absolutely one of the most amazing experiences you could ever imagine. You have strength and you have, you have ability to process all kinds of challenges, pain that life has given you and converted into a meaningful uh, and with loving and kindness and with, uh, with empathy to your own self and which reflects to others. In the Wellbeing Project, I was able to go back to the original form of myself. I think it's the first time that I have really to confront all my guilts, that I have to confront with all my pains. I, I become cheerful again. I, I make a choice to become to what is really my purpose and direction in life. Opening that, that kind of the inner, inner self to yourself is the most difficult but also the most important part. 
and i think what it can really do to you now and in future is something that you can't even dream without getting into it and when somebody is kind just look at them and say thank you so much because i think that's the best way we can spread it but i think you should probably we should all say to ourselves every now and again <laughs> fair play for trying <laughs>